Welcome to another deranged video. Here we have a set. Um, another one from the woods. Just to keep showing up. Um, this is a Zenith CC2, I do believe, or at least that's what my friend tells me. He knows about these more than I do. This was sitting in the woods for 20 years. You know, that kind of deal. Um, volume control, off on button, tuner, they all work. Well, they all turn at least. We've got our watt meter, power plug, and we are just going to. Well, let me get it on the other side. Turn it on, plug it in. Dead. DOA. Um, open power switch? Question mark. That's all the way up. That's right in the middle. That's all the way down. I'm not gonna mess with color level. Nothing. Nothing. DOA. Is that what I'm seeing here? So, two things bad power switch, bad power cord, blown fuse. That's three things. Likely bad power switch. Um, let us throw it up on the bench here. Take a look at it. Messing around with this. This is the Magnavox from a long time ago. Let's unplug it. I'm just gonna move back here. Those are all the bolts for a different project. 33GY7 will be in here. Hey, um. Let's move this. Okay, I've got this massive thing up on the table. Now let's take the back off. He thought it was a 77 or 78. I told him it was probably an 81 or an 82. So, two conflicting stories on this. He thought it was a CC2. I said it was too new for that. Oh, we'll find out. Built very, very similar to my Quasar. Um, have a look inside. 19 inch color. This is very, uh, I guess, similar to the Philco Ford. Except it's a, uh, not a Delta gun. It's an uh, inline, not an inline gun. A, uh, I can't remember what, what it's called. the adjustments now and check the, t the tube looks nice and baked on the inside this might be similar to that trifocus zenith line Sure, every cap is bad. Was your flyback? Looks similar to the one on the Trifocus. Trifocus was an 83. Just a 
very well be its predecessor. Had some tags, those are long gone. When you sit outside for 20 years, I think any paper that would be left on you would be gone too. Anyway. Wow, that's a giant fly. Uh, Spiderville. Welcome home. Weird looking speaker, too. So, this is all modular. This might be a CC2, but with the uh, down, down facing design. Oh, great, the power switch is. <sighs> oh, it's a little enclosed box. We had some spider action at one point. Degaussing shield. CRT, CRT sticker is long gone. Waiting for the brown recluse to jump out at me and scare the crap out of me. Oh, baby. I think that cap might be a little... Crody doodle. That's a lot of wires in this thing. Focus. Fly back. Man, this thing's loaded with parts. Very odd looking CRT. Looks more like a black and white from the angle that it's pushed in. Looks like it was laying in some mud. Or something. It had a tarp over it at one point. Let's see how many spiders are living in this part. Didn't look like any. So, first let's check the cathodes. The vacuum pressure filled picture bulb of happiness. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is jump the power switch and see if this thing even. That's a great sign. That's not connected to anything. Neither is this. Anyway, we'll uh, get back to another video.